Hello and welcome to our next video about flow measurement. This time we are talking about vortex flow measurement. Vortex, this is an, this is an R. <laughs> flow measurement. I'm not sure if you're living close to a river. Yeah. However, if you are, look at the bridge. Yeah? So if we have a bridge somewhere, bridge over troubled water, yeah, there is the bridge. Yeah. There's the road there. That's the bridge borders. Yeah. And somewhere, somewhere. We do have a support, okay? Of course. If this is in the middle of the water, yeah. Now my stream is going this way. We will see here a wave, yeah. And then, at the end, we will see how the water. is closing yeah and we always see such vortex behind this bridge pile yeah? we always see such vortex yeah? they are look nice and so on yeah one is turning right one is turning left and they will lose get loose and stream away with the stream yeah? Actually, it was a Hungarian physicist who developed, or was he a mathematic? I am not sure. Of course, he developed a way to describe two things mathematically. And if something is described, yeah, then you can use it. Yeah. He found out that the distance of these vortex things, yeah, they depend on the stream velocity. And exactly this is the principle of the vortex flow measurement. Yeah. Have something inside the flow yeah, and measure the frequency of the vortexes which are built. Okay. How this is done? There is a video describing this very great and in great detail, also with animation and so on. Yeah. I will link it. I will link it for you. Uh, you should see it. On the top right corner. Uh, well, vortex flow measurement. Okay. Disadvantage: there's something inside the stream. Yeah, there's something inside, which means I have a pressure loss. Yeah. Also, the streaming profile must be very accurate. Not that we already have vortexes. Vortexes. <laughs> that are not that I have already vortexes when approaching. To the to the uh, meter, so I need long pre and post straights. Okay. Big advantage, of course, uh, there is quite a lot of stability in there. Yeah, long term stability, great, great dynamic, great temperature range. Yeah. Almost all temperature range is not sensitive to temperature at all, and it's very universal. Yeah, you can measure liquids, gases, steam, quite a lot of stuff. Yeah. Vortex flow measurement was our topic this time. Next time we are talking about positive displacement meters or in German Verdrängungsdurchflussmessung. How this is working we will see in our next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.